Hello and welcome to the Bristly Strangers channel. My name is Stinger from Stinger's Playground. With me is Ricketts. How you doing, Ricketts? Hello. Good, thank you. Looking forward to this game. Oh, I am too, because today we have the Little Stinkers, my team, versus the Infested Jokes. And that is Keith, the Exiled, one of our most experienced coaches. I know I was definitely very nervous going into this game, but facing Keith, it is always a learning experience one way or another. Just how much is it going to cost you? And it's very interesting. He's playing quite a strong team. The, the Skaven are an incredibly quick and versatile team. Good good agility, a little bit of strength with the Rat Ogre there, um, but a hell of a lot of movement. So very uh, so a very good team to play. And obviously, little stinkers there, very versatile. Lots of lots of block and tackle there, which could could be a real problem for. Uh, the infested jokes gutter runners and skaven they're known for their ability to score in one turn yeah these gutter runners start off with a movement of nine so they're they're actually one of the quickest players in the game uh, and a good agility and they start with dodge so these players are quick it's going to be exciting agile. to see if the slow moving methodical chaos dwarves can keep up with such a fast moving team as skaven with all that said though let's go ahead and jump right into the match and see how it all pans out so here we are at the theater of screams yet again so here we are we can see the chaos dwarves there no no injuries i think if i remember rightly from your last game nothing long term no I believe it might have had a miss next game on a hobgoblin, but I had an extra one, so I wasn't uh, having a journeyman. And here are the Skaven. So we've got a Rat Ogre. See one of the Gutter Runners there. Storm Vermin. And there's the other Gutter Runner. I do like his choice in colors with the, with the nice green, although it did pose a couple problems on identifying my players versus his during this game. Here we go, and here's the kickoff. Quick snap. Gonna give so everybody that's... a free move, one square. One of those gutter runners is already under the ball, so just moving up some of the other players there. Doesn't pick the ball up. Two dice there on that Chaos Dwarf. Just knocks him back. Another two dice. Again, another push. Moves him along the line. Moving that line rat there. And here's the... And a wild animal on the uh, rat ogre there. A knockdown with that line rat. Another two dice. And that's another knockdown with the line rat. And here's the blitz. Let's go in after very, our hobgoblin. Yeah, very quick. And that does knock him down. But not through the armor. And here's one of the gutter runners picking the ball up. And running it behind the uh, rat ogre. And one of the other... And the other gutter runner is just moving up a little bit. Picking some players up. Two dice on that line rat. And that's through the armor. Just a stun though. There we go, here's the blitz. Two dice against that line rat. And knocks him down. Did not follow up. Oh, we're going for a foul right off the bat. And not enough to get through the armor. And Storm Vermin knocks down one of those Chaos Dwarf blockers. And the same with that line wrap. Here comes the Here's Blitz. The blitz. 
Oh, double oh. slow. And a double loner. Kill. And loner. Oh. And he's and injured. That's an injury. Oh, Julius Cheese is injured. No. Uh, oh, and using that apothecary to uh, mean that that badly hurt goes to a no casualty result. And he's hoping to get that ogre back. Just in the reserves now, so he will get back when the, the touchdown's been scored. Two dice, just to push. Two dice there on that line rat, that knocks him down. Setting up for another yeah. foul. foul. And that's an injury. Kim Radashian, the badly hurt. It helps that he has a dirty player. And moving some of these Chaos Dwarf players back up. Provide some support. Using all of his going for it. And that's a knockdown. Just the one dice, but that knocks him down. And Ooh. through the armor. Just a stun. And here's the blitz. That knocks down that line rat. And follows on to mark up the gutter runner. So, infested jokes turn. And a blitz straight away. Two dice. That knocks down that hop. Line wrap moving up. And that gutter runner has dodged out and goes right onto the other side of the pitch. As has that other gutter runner. Definitely threatening to score right here. And tries to dodge out. Doesn't make it and re-rolls being used. And makes it. Two dice on the Chaos Dwarf blocker, which gets through and knocks him over. So, can the Chaos Dwarves catch up with that gutter runner? It'll be hard. These things are quick. Just push back. Yeah, just pushing back that Storm Vermin. Both have Both blocks, have so that didn't do anything. And another push. This time, however, on to the Bull Centaur. Who also just pushes him. Unfortunate. Two dice. Looks over the line rat. Oh, oh failed a dodge. Failed dodge. Oh, dear. 33% chance. Oh, he rerolled it, it and. That'll get him down. Chaos Dwarf blockers have got tackle, so that dodge doesn't mean anything. That's a very, that was a very risky play that took, that actually uh, paid paid off there for the little stinkers. Just a push. And can can the gut runner pick the ball up? No, that's a fail. He rolled a one, so he, he, that's a turnover straight away. Wow. Here comes and the a, blitz. A blitz straight away. Blitz straight away. Gotta take away yes. that scoring threat. And through the armor. Just a stun. Marking up the down player there. Marking up that line rat. You need two dice the other hobgoblin. Just a push. It'll be a two dice against that line rat. Just puts him down. And a knockdown on that line rat. Two dice against the storm vermin. That knocks him down again. Boom, that chaos will block the back. 
And the ball central moves to Bar Cup player. That'll give the that Chaos Dwarf blocker two dice. Also marking up some down blind rats just to make sure they can't get any other people near that ball. At least not without blocking or dodging. Just picking some players up now. And I'll see a dodge out from that uh, that gusher runner. And see if you can pick the ball up, which you can do. Oh, but tackle and... comes in. Yep. Yeah. And, and that's injured. an injury. David Rattam, injured. Badly hurt. Skaven are rapidly running out of players. Two dice against the line rat. Just a push, not following up with the bull centaur. That's a bull that I wanted to have the bull centaur free to be able to move. Two dice block against this rat, line rat. Through the armor. Just a stun. Marking up those players. And that's a knockdown. Two dice block. Moving them into the other group. Just to push on that line wrap. Oh, and a foul. Oh, he's KO'd. He's off the pitch. That's a knockout. Mahatma Gambadi. He's knocked out. Ah, oh, but so is Mr. Bumbles. He got busted. So turn six. Oh, and straight and into a double stall. Yeah, immediately knock, knock down and stun. So that's a turnover. So marking up that line rat. Two dice. That's going to knock him down. Not through the armor, though. Chaos Dwarf marking him up. Another two dice. That knocks him down. Marking up another down player. Bringing the other Bull Centaur down. Getting everybody around. Oh, he's actually going for the ball. And he got the ball. He, he picks it up. Centaur there marking up that line rat. Two dice. That's a knockdown. Oh no, here comes the lightning. Oh, the lightning. Oh wow. So that knocks down that uh, that bull centaur. And here comes the gutter runner. Oh, but and fails the dodge because of tackle. Serves you right for lightning my bull centaur. He had just gotten the ball. So. Uh, can't pick the ball up. Needs to use a reroll. Got it. And does. <laughs> Moving those hobgoblins back around. Looks like it's going to be another foul. Here there we go. There it is. Against a gutter runner, too, no, nonetheless. Very dirty play there. It is very dirty. But now that's an injury. Alfred Hitchcock is injured. Smash, Smash knees. knees. Oh, niggling injury. Got Might have got sent off, but that one was definitely worth it. no way I can score. Certainly of this half, anyway. No, so the rest of this half is just going to be trying to get players down. There's already been three injuries there on the on the Skaven side. But they do manage to knock down that Chaos Dwarf. Not enough to get through the armor, though. And Donna tries to dodge out, but fails. And, and gets injured. injured. That's Brad Pitt. Is Got a, a miss next game. Stacking them up like cordwood. 
Yeah, there's not too many people left on the field at this moment. And here's the Blitz. On the Storm Vermin. Two dice, that gets through his armor. Oh, sorry, it gets through. And it is through the armor. But just, just a stone. stone. We're going to see a pass. And a catch. I think that was a handoff, though. It didn't oh, look like that is was... true. Here's and the pass. Here's the throw. And a catch. That works. Moving some players up. And that's a going for it. And that was a fail going for it. Well, that is going to do it for this half. So far, a very close game. However, the little stinkers are putting a world of hurt on the infested jokes. Very much uh, not concentrating on the ball, more concentrating on getting those Skaven off the pitch. In fact, the two that are off the field are because they were fouling. And. There is a line rat that gets back from being knocked out. They do the escape do get the uh, the rat ogre back though, but there aren't many players left on their team. Four of their teammates will not be returning. That's got to be an uphill battle. You can see what I can see. What you mean about the everyone's in a sort of lime green? So yeah. It's very difficult sometimes to see who whose players are who. And here's the kickoff. Throw a rock. Ooh. Danak Cloverthief suffers an injury. That's okay. He was injury. a he was just a journeyman anyway. I didn't care anything about him. Just badly hurt, so he's gonna miss the rest of the game. Oh, and straight uh, into the double, double skulls. Had to re-roll that. Goes to being a push. And another push. Definitely did that wrong right there. I've learned since that not do that block because now that rat, our line rat, is not on the line of scrimmage where I wanted him. And here comes the blitz with the bull centaur. Does knock him over though. And through the armor and a knockout. Well, that'll replace the one that he got back from the knockout at the half. And that's not that one over, and he's stunned. And another block result. Not through the armor, though. And the ball center does pick up the ball and moves behind the wall of Chaos Dwarf blockers. Forming a small cage around him, just in case. But the, with these Skaven, you, you can never, never know because they've got such a good movement. They can get round. They can. Luckily, most of the gutter runners are down or out. Here's, Here's the, blitz. the blitz. Just a push. But he does have frenzy, so that's another two. Had to re-roll it though. Re-roll. Yep, and it does does knock him down though. Just as done. Two dice. Knocking that line rat down. Another line rat falls over. Marking up the, the rat ogre. Trying to get that two dice. Mm -hmm. And does, and manages to knock him, to knock him over. And moving, moving up to mark that other, that, that, the last storm, storm vermin, and just pushes him back. There. And there's the bull centaur moving up. And they use the sure Take, feet. Yeah, taking taking advantage of sure feet by sprinting. Here's the blitz. Two dice does knock him down. And through the armor. Just a stun. Does allow that line rat to put a tackle zone on that bull center. 
two dice. That does knock down that Chaos Dwarf blocker. Two dice against the Line Rat. Through the armor. And a stun. Had to go for it there, but... Trying to make sure that rat over can't come and get my bull centaur. Through the armor on that line rat, and that's another knockout. Field is looking a little empty on the skeeve inside right now. And a blitz there by the ball carrier, knocking back that line rat. Just enough to and get out of his tackle zones. It's a touchdown! BB-8 with our touchdown. First one of the game gives the Little Stinkers the 1-0 early lead. Well, I guess se early second half lead. See those Dwarven cheerleaders having a good bash on the Bugmans there. <laughs> I just figured that who would the Chaos Dwarves have as their cheerleaders? Well, the lesser of the Dwarves. Neither of those knocked out Skaven are coming back, so we are looking at a very empty side of the pitch there. We, in fact, we have a grand total of five players, five players on the Skaven side. So here's the kickoff. Changing weather, so the ball will scatter an extra square. Oh, that's a deep right. kick too. Right at the back. So that's two dice on the Chaos Dwarf blocker, which does knock him down. Another knockdown on the from the the Rat Ogre, and yes. another one from Blind Rat. Making it look Push easy. Can the Rat pick the ball up? He can. But with only five players, there's not very much he can do. No, but that that line that line rat has pushed halfway up the uh, little stinker's half, and there goes the bull centaur, putting a little bit of pressure on the ball carrier. As is the other one. The hobgoblin moving to mark up that line rat, and here's the blitz, taking away that possibility. The... Yeah. Just a push, but he's very close to the sidelines. Doesn't want to be there for much longer. Marking up those remaining Skaven players. Just so they can't do anything to my Bull Centaurus. And that's the Rat Ogre, knocking down that Chaos Dwarf. One dice with Storm Vermin. That's, that's a fake yet. Both of them have got blocked though. And that's a dodge out, which fails. And, and that's a KO'd. knockout. That is exactly what he did not need at this moment of the game. Another player out on the bench. So we've got, uh, we've got one player on the side, or near the near the side. But we're going to go for a, a a block first. Hop Goblin moving up. This is going to be a two dice block, which knocks him off the pitch. <gasps> And that's a knockout. Ratney Spears is knocked out. Given a good kicking by the fans. <laughs> Surrounding that Rat Ogre. Trying to get that two dice block on him. Oh, both down. Here we go. Had to re-roll that. Yep. Moving the... Bull centaurs up, and I can see it's coming on. Yep. Just a push. Push. Can't re-roll it. Already used the re-roll. Standing up and blitzing that blocker, which knocks him down, and manages the dodge out. Even with an agility and of two. And the, uh, the the line rat fails that completely fumbles the uh, that uh, that throw. 
Turn 14, we'll start off with a blitz from a bull centaur. Just a push. Just a push. Hits him off the ball, though. That's a knockdown on that line rat. Setting up for a foul, it looks like. Going up to that rat ogre, and here's the foul. Oh, we're going to have to go for it. Yep. Yep. That's and another a KO. And he's sent off. So Buzzington sent off. So uh, I figured that. I could afford it at this point, though. I was way ahead on the numbers of players on the field. And knocking down that count score blocker. And moving away. And trying to get the ball. And succeeding. And dodges out of the way. Here Looking comes at a throw. pass. Yeah, but that's a fumble. And we're on turn 15. What can the Chaos Dwarves do here? Well, the Rat Ogre oh. is really not in play. There's only one of the Skaven that's of any concern to me, and it's this one right here. And he's knocked down. And Chaos Dwarf marking it up. Just trying to get everybody pretty much in play as much as you can. And here comes the full centaur to pick the ball up. And does pick the ball up. Oh, sure feet fails failing. going for it. Oh. oh. Can't rely on sure feet. When you need it the most, it's when it's going to let you down. And that line rat fails to pick the ball up. That makes it easier for the Chaos Dwarves to uh, pick it up and to score. What are they going to do here? Final turn for them, too. Here comes the blitz. blitz. That's enough to knock him down. All right, going for it with the... Ball up. He did. He can. And he scores. Last turn. Last turn of the game, yeah. which will bring it to a 2-0 to zero for the little stinkers. Four on the dead and injured for the stinkers. Four for the Skaven. And and look at all those knockouts. They've only got one turn. Let's see if they can do anything about this. Here's the kickoff. Oh, buzzer. Stop his injury. And that's just, just a stun, a stun though. though. Oof. And it's a touchback. That's actually a bad thing for Keith in this point because he needed all three people on the line in order to push to have a chance to go for a one turn touchdown. And he fails. He fails that dodge roll. And that's it. That's, that's the game. Gonna, that's going to end the game. And that's going to give the Little Stinkers a 2-0 two -two win over one of the most experienced coaches that we have in the Bristly Bowl Season 2. I can't tell you how excited I was that not only did I get my second win of the season, but against such a great player as Keith. And um, looking, at the, looking at the results, uh, two touchdowns, one pass... 16 armor breaks as opposed to nothing and two armor breaks from the infested jokes so obviously quite a decisive win there and you see sir buzzington there had the uh the mvp and julius cheeser the rat ogre had the M the mvp quite well deserved actually because uh, he he did quite a bit of work there so we've got uh we've got an equal ball possession uh, although uh there, there has there was a fair bit more ball possession on the opponent's half from the little stinkers. And yeah, the little stinkers with a pass, though, and the infested jokes didn't have any passes, which is un no. unlike them. And 
over double the amount of blocks succeeded from the little stinkers compared with the infested jokes. A lot more injuries and knockouts and a lot more uh, yards running as well. So there, there, was, there was a bit more of a running play there. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the SPP. We have Spy for Sir Buzzington. He got the player of the game. We got two for Mr. Bean. That must have been an injury inflicted. Three for BB-8, a touchdown, and four for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, that might be a pass completion and a touchdown because we did score two touchdowns. So that Right. Oh, yeah, that got that. And and then just the and then just the MVP for Julius Cheezer from the invested jokes. Oh, rubbing salt in the wound with that one. Not only did he lose, <laughs> but he only got five star player points from it. Looking at the dice rolls, little stinkers, very good on most of their percentages, and the dice rolls are certainly in the in the higher end as well. Um, you know, certainly not an awful lot of ones rolled there. No. Invested joke. It's a very, very it's very, um, very average all the way along. So, you know, 27 ones, 25 sixes, pretty average. But, you know, four, 47 fours. So, made quite a lot of those. But a lot less reliable on the percentages there. Especially when he needed that the most. But with all that, our final score once again is two to zero. The little stinkers wins over peace infested jokes what a great game a lot of bashing back and forth kind of got a little bit one-sided it starts off slow but boy once you start getting a few players off of the pitch you can really start snowballing but that's going to be it for us thank you very much for watching i'm stinger from stingers playground with me is ricketts thank you very much it's a great game it was a great game i really did enjoy it make sure to leave a comment down below let the coaches know what they did right what they did wrong what your thoughts are on the game and thank you very much for watching the bristly bowl 2 little stinkers versus the infested jokes until next time we'll see you later